Hello third graders. Today we're going to continue with lesson three for writing. We are in unit two, module A. The vocabulary word for this lesson is mileage. So mileage means a unit of length or measure. So if we look at this word here, we see mile. Okay, and this example here is in a car. You will find the speed, right? So it's miles per hour. And then if you look here, this tells you the mileage, which means how far you have driven, how many miles. So let's look at our objective for this lesson. I will be able to produce writing in which development and organization are appropriate to task and purpose. More specifically in this lesson, you're going to be telling me a story that you would like to write and what kind of genre it is and why, and I'll be going over that. Narrative writing. Narrative writing is writing that tells a story. A story introduces characters, establishes a situation, develops characters, and events through description and dialogue. Remember, dialogue is when characters are speaking to each other in a book. And narrative writing has an ending that provides a sense of closure. Examples of narrative writing include poems, plays, and stories. Types of stories include realistic fiction, historical fiction, fables, folk tales, legends, and myths. Strong narrative writing has the following elements a strong narrator and characters, a clear sequence of events, right? So that's a beginning, middle, and end. Words and phrases that signal the order of events, such as first, next, then, after that, finally. Dialogue and character actions that impact events and a conclusion. The Year of Miss Agnes is realistic historical fiction. It takes place in the past and tells about people you could meet in real life. The events are things that could really happen in a small Alaskan town. Let's look at some examples from the story, The Year of Miss Agnes. What will happen now? I asked Mama as we watched the plane take the teacher away. Maybe no more school. Mama twitched her shoulder a little to show she didn't care. So in this example, the writer draws the reader in by having one character ask a question. The other character answers in a way that will keep the reader guessing. The next example, it was Sam White laughing too. Sam thought nearly everything was funny. Students may know people like Sam White in real life. And finally, we had a whole bunch of teachers since they started the school here, back when I was six. Some left before the year was over. Some stayed one whole school year, but none ever came back after the summer. Based on the information they read in the Athabascans, you should be able to see how these events could really happen. So when we write a story idea, think carefully about the kind of story you want to write. Choosing a genre is an important decision that will affect how you write your story. And remember, genre just means a different type of writing. For example, would you like to write a story that's realistic fiction, which means a story that uses fictional characters, but it could happen in real life, or historical fiction, which is a fictional story that takes place in a specific time period. Often the setting is real, but the characters are made up. If a story is realistic fiction, authors make sure the characters and settings could really exist and the events could happen in real life. They may draw inspiration, which means get ideas from people they know or places they are familiar with, as well as gather information from print and digital sources. I could base a realistic fiction story on the people and places I already know. If I write fantasy, all I need is my imagination. If a story is historical fiction, authors make sure that the characters, settings, and events are true to the time period in history. They gather information from print and digital sources, as well as talk to experts to ensure their story is historically accurate. 
So if I were to model analyzing the setting and plot in the year of Miss Agnes, I might write this. If I write a realistic historical fiction story like the year of Miss Agnes, I would have to research a time period. In the story we just read, the setting is a small Alaskan village. The plot is about how the new teacher will fit in to the new place and with the students. The author drew us in right away. I want to keep reading to find out how the new teacher will work out. I have to figure out a plot that is just as interesting and a setting that fits the plot. I knew that Miss Agnes was different from the first teacher based on how Fred and Bertha see Miss Agnes and her actions. The first thing she says to them also tells the reader a lot about Miss Agnes and gives a hint about what the author has in store for the reader. So you are going to open up your online writing journal, which is a Google Doc that I have shared with you, and you're going to scroll down to Lesson 3 Writing. You will see this at the top of the page. So let's look at the directions. This says genre. Describe a story you would like to write. Then explain what genre it would be and why. So here I'm giving you some sentence starters to help you with your writing. So you might start out by saying, a story I would like to write is, and then you're going to tell me what it would be. Then after you tell me that, you're going to tell me what genre is. And here's another sentence starter to help you. My story genre is blank because you need to explain why. Now, if you need some help, I included some examples of story genres. And I, you can also go back and rewatch this lesson. So you could write, a biography, which is information, real information about a real person in life, you're telling their life story, realistic fiction, fiction, a mystery story, historical fiction, a fairy tale, or a myth. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know on my Google Classroom. Thank you.